to title mercy. And as you go out today, in this month, you start to say it wherever you go. Mercy is my portion. 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 When we go to the book of Exodus chapter 25, verse 17 to 22. There the Lord was talking to Moses on how he is going to make the temple in the Old Testament. And when he makes the temple, there is a place where the Lord will now meet with the people. When the, he gave instruction to Moses, that Moses, I'm going to give instruction on how the tabernacle will be made. But when you are finished making the tabernacle, there is a special place where it is time for me to meet with men. That is the only place I'm coming down to meet them. And he called that place the mercy seat. So as big as auditorium is, as big as the tabernacle is, God said, I cannot come. I will come in anyhow. I must go to a place that is secret for me. And when I come to meet with the people, I will call on that place called the mercy seat. And he told Moses how it's going to look like. And when we look at Exodus 25, 30 to 22, we will see how God gave him instruction. How many images were surrounded that area of mercy seat. Everything that is made there represents every symbol. He said, let there be an image of the cherubim and seraphim. The angel of God that stands before God. Let there be an angel. Now pull the mercy seat in between those angels. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the time comes for me to come in with my people, I will come. And the second way where God can meet is in find in the New Testament. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16, the Bible made us to understand in the dispensation of now that we have how do we get the mercy of God how will the mercy of God visit the people of God and that true way is found through our Lord Jesus Christ Exodus chapter 4 verse 16 let somebody quickly read it for me let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And find grace to help in the time of need. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let us therefore come in boldness. In both, let me read verse 12 from verse 12. For the word of God is quick. For the word of God is quick and powerful. And powerful. And sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Yes. And of the joints and marrow. Yes. And is the designer of the heart. And is the designer of the heart. Yes. And intent of the heart. And the intent of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Hold on. Neither there is no creature that is not manifest in the sight of God. There is nothing we are doing that God does not see. There is nothing you are doing in your closet that God does not see. There is nothing you are doing in the church that God does not see. There is nothing you are doing to your spouse that God does not see. There is nothing is hidden in the face of Him that we have to do. Who is the person that we have to do with? That is our Lord Jesus Christ. Who 
only the person that we have to do with. That is the Holy Spirit. Nothing is hidden in His sight. If He ministers to you to take a step and you refuse to do it, He knows that you are refusing. If He ministers to you to go to the north and you are going to the north and you are meeting problem there, He knows that He's not has sent you. Hallelujah. That was why when Abraham heard the sound of God, he said, leave your father's house and go to a land that I will show you. Abraham took a step of faith. And he went. And on the way, he met a lot of obstacles. He has Korea with his nephew. He still went on. The people took his wife away from him. It's it still went on. But because God is seeing everything that every one of us we are doing, He will always support His home. I see God supporting you in this season in the name of Jesus. Can you continue, ma'am? Neither is there any creature that is small manifest in His sight. Yes. For all things are naked and open unto the eyes of Him, oh, yes. with whom we have to do. Oh, yes. See then that we have a great high priest that is passed into, into the heavens. That is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God. Let us all fast our profession. Hold the man. Let us all fast our profession. We are in the end times. If you believe there's no end time now, we will be deceiving ourselves. Because many things that have been prophesied in the scriptures are coming to pass. Jesus says, nobody knows when I'm coming back. Me, myself, I did not know. It's the Father that knows the day. And the days that come sooner than we think. The days came to some people, they are already in the grave. The same came to some other people, they are still alive when Jesus Christ will come. If Jesus Christ comes this hour, then we will be alive to see him. But when Jesus Christ comes, after we are all gone, it will meet us in the grave. But he says, no matter where it finds you, as long as you have made him your Lord and Savior, as long as your book remains in the book of life, it does not make any difference. Because when the trumpet shall sound, you are going to rise wherever you are. Either you are alive or you are dead. You are going to be raised up with him in glory. I will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. Can you continue, ma'am? For we, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched. With the feelings of our infirmities. With the feelings of our infirmities. In all points tempted like as we are. Hallelujah. Can you stop me? But in all ways tempted like as we are. That was why the Bible said book of Genesis that when God created, He created man in His own image. He said, male and female created He. Jesus Christ came so that He can feel our pain. He knows what you are going through. He knows what I'm going through. He knows that I've made mistakes in life. He knows I've been cheated in many ways. He knows I've been disliked in many ways. He knows that I've been loved by certain people. He knows my own effort in his house. He knows I'm destined to be a child that is worthy of his praise. He knows he has passed through death. Himself. So he knows how you are going through with your spouse, with your wife, with your husband. He knows what the country is doing against you. He sees it unless you are not his child. Hallelujah. He says, So we have an high priest which cannot be touched. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Let nobody pull you down. Mm. They are not your high priest. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let no situation.
situation pull you down, you are in control of that situation. Amen. Because we have an high priest, we did not have a high priest that does not feel the way we feel, that does not know what we are going through, but he overcome them. And that is why we are all overcomers. Amen. I see you overcoming this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. If it's for you, shout a bigger amen. amen. Can you continue now? Yes, without sin. Yes, without sin. He went through all these things, but he refused to sin. Sin came to his house. Sin visited him. But he told sin, you have come to the wrong place. The enemy took him, the Bible said the enemy took him to the high temple, to the high uh, pinnacle. He says, look at the bling bling of the world. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Look how beautiful your life is going to be. If only you can bow for me. It's so simple. Just bow. What does it take to bow? Many times I find yourself in that position. I find myself in that position. And what are you saying? Just succumb. Doesn't cost you anything. Just succumb. Depression says succumb to me. Stealing says succumb to me. Womanizing says succumb to me. Disobedience says succumb to me. Arrogance says succumb to me. Lying says succumb to me. Because when we talk about sin, we only think of only fornication. Say succumb to me. But the Bible says he come through this things we are going through without sin. He is conscious of who he is. That is the victory that gave him that victory. That is a victory that gives you the victory. That is a victory that brings victory. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The victory that gave Jesus the victory is that he knows his personality. He knows how he must behave. He knows how he must listen. He knows who to connect to. He knows what to connect and remain connected if he must win. He knows who he is. And that victory of knowing gave him the victory that all of us are tapping into today. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Therefore, I challenge you, my dear brethren, get your victory that will lead you to your victory. Amen. Get that victory that will lead you to your next victory. Amen. I was saying one time that some things that appear impossible in our life, no man can do it. Like they used to say that slogan, what God does not do, does not do what does not exist. There are some impossibilities depending on the level it's meeting you. Hallelujah. But the day the Lord gave you a revelation about that problem, it becomes a possibility. That is, that problem has changed level. Although you have not seen it physically, but you have received an assurance of it. The day the angel visited Virgin Mary, the impossibility that a Virgin can conceive changed them. Only Jesus has not come. But it has changed them. And Mary knew that a change has happened. What has never been heard in the history of man, that a Virgin conceived without a man, and God sent a message to her. And the angel of the Lord came and delivered. It became a possibility. I want to assure you that the day you go for your formation and pass, that's your job you are looking for becoming a possibility. Amen. Although you may not yes get it, but it's already no more impossible. Hallelujah. And that possibility now, you don't see it as an impossible case again. You start to see it as a possibility that needed manifestation. And the day Mary conceived, and the day Mary put to bed, the 
possibility became visible. In this month of mercy, that mercy that brings out visibility out of your possibility. Receive in the name of Jesus. If I want to say, I receive. I receive. I receive. That power, that mercy, that will bring out my possibility, that will bring out my manifestation, out of my possibility, in this spot, I receive in Jesus' name. I will not go to the last one. See that we have a high priest that through him overcome the old way of God giving mercy to man. Remember the old way was in the tabernacle when there is mercy seat. And when God wants to come and meet his people, God didn't come to the north. They didn't come in through the south. They didn't come in through the west. We go where the mercy seat is. À l'époque, Dieu occupait euh, le siège de, de la miséricorde. If you go to where the mercy seat is, and from there, God will now speak from the mercy seat. Et de ce siège, il parle à ce qu'il parlait à son peuple. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, through Christ, mes amis Patrice, he says, let us therefore call. Il dit, venons ensemble. Both this. Yes, ma'am. Let us therefore come boldly. Let us therefore come boldly. the throne of grace. the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy. That we may obtain mercy. And find grace to help. And find grace to help. In time of need. In a time of need. Let us come boldly because Jesus is our high priest. Let us come boldly because we are carrying the mark of Jesus on our forehead. Let us come boldly because we have surrendered our life to Jesus Christ. Let us come boldly because we have another identity. Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy when you obtain mercy you receive power to do what you think you cannot do I remember one time years ago I used to face a particular challenge and I always try my best and I always say in one of my prayers, Father, I cannot go more than this. Concerning this case, my strength has come to a point I believe I cannot go forward. I've, I've tried. But I did not know when I now look back years after. I was surprised I was able to do more than I thought I could do that time. When God gives you mercy over a particular issue, He will give you power of grace. That grace is the force that makes the things to happen. That grace is the one that gives back from mercy. So mercy is the mother of grace. And when you believe you have no power to do anything again, when you are tired as if you have come to a bus stop, what you need to ask is mercy. What you need to ask is mercy. You see, our God is full of mercy. He says his mercy endures forever. Mercy is something that covers your inability. That makes you to do what you are not qualified for. He says, let us therefore come boldly. Under the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Quickly, because of time, I will not go deep again. Because I'm going to go on. Ground is 
shaking, walls are breaking, and my heart is racing. But I gotta keep looking somewhere to trust in horses and chariots. But I will look to the hill, and I will not fear. Some may say that they found another way, but my eyes are on you. And I will not move. Oh, some men trust in horses and chariots, but I will look to the hill, and I will not fear. No, some may say that they found another way, but my eyes may say that they found another way, but my eyes.